Adoption is something that's been on my heart as long as I can remember. Um, we weren't on the same page with that for a long time, which was fine. I knew that if God was in it, then he would have to get her on that page. Mm -hmm. We've had five kids and our youngest is uh, 10 months old now. And uh, you know, it wasn't long after he arrived that, that you began to feel it too. And I saw yeah. it and, yeah. um, and I was like, was, well, God's doing something. It was a trip um, that we took just being around a couple things that had adopted and those little girls just got to me. <laughs>I think adoption is one of those things that, that helps you to understand the heart of God probably more than anything because that's what He's done for us. He's adopted us. He's given us a spirit of adoption by which we cry, Abba, Father. We said, what are we going to do? We're going to pray. And in the middle of that time of fasting and praying, I, God gave me a name and the name was uh, Anna. And I was like, is that you or is that me? Are you really speaking to me now? Um, and so I, I just left it at that, but God confirmed that name like five different times. Mm -hmm. And um, and at the end of our fast, um, I had a dream. And in the dream, um, I was in an orphanage and there was these all these older orphans surrounding me and I was meeting them. and and talking to them and they were introducing themselves and, and I saw this little girl out of the corner of my eye and I looked over at her and she, she looked about seven years old and she had dark hair and a beautiful girl and I looked over at her and I said, I said well what's your name because I'd met everybody else and she wasn't one of those you know in your face kids she was just very shy and reserved and, and she said her name was Anna So we um, asked our friends who had shared with us about the hosting program if there might by chance be any little girls with dark hair, uh, light skin, uh, who might have the name Anna, who might be around 10 years old. You know, I'm not trying to be specific or anything. <laughs> in, in the Bible study, I, I shared about this, you know, this little girl God put in my heart that I dreamed about. I, I, would, I didn't share the name, but I said, you know, if someone here wants to confirm it, you know, they can confirm it. Someone did. So at the end of the night, our friends pulled us aside and said, we want to pray for you guys. And uh, so they did. She, she kind of leaned over and nudged him and, and she said, you need to share with them. That's when she he said, all right. He said, well, I, I emailed the lady, uh, Beth, and asked her if there were any 10-year-old girls in the program that were able to be hosted. And she said, no, there's no 10-year-old girls, but there's a 9-year-old girl with an amazing 14-year-old brother. And that's when she replied, her name is Anya, and his name is Maxim. Um, my sister comes out and says, I just looked up the name Anya, and you're going to be blown away by this, but Anya in Hebrew means Anna. So we ran to the computer. Um, in our friend's house and, and her picture popped up and the first thing he said was I said that's a girl in my dream <laughs> and so we went home and and we just prayed and, uh, I dreamed that they came that night and the first thing we did is we went and had pizza together yeah. 